Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here. This is going to be week number one of the PGBL season four, and this is incredibly exciting. But uh, we're up against uh, Mars and his Los Angeles Landorus, and he helped create this league. He and I built this league out together in season one, and we're here in season four, and it feels really, really great to be having this last kind of uh, league season before. Uh, the new generation but uh let's see i don't okay so uh before i say anything this is a mega gyarados and i do want to say that it will be transacted away um before week two starts and um i believe that's the only thing that's that's going to be transacted away but we do it just has a really fantastic matchup this mega gyarados it will be a mega scissor in the coming weeks but we do have a drapion latios amoongus Klefki, uh, Rotom, and Mega Slowbro. Okay, so right off the bat, I feel like he did not. Okay, didn't bring the Placephalon. Didn't bring the Magneton, which is uh, which I was honestly really uh, fearing a decent amount. Um, no Kofagrigus, no Alolan Raichu, and no Bivirel. Okay, 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 okay. Um, my team matches up okay. I think the easy lead would be. I think the easy lead would be this Inferno here. So this is honestly really interesting. I came very very close because of the Kafkaigus alone. I came very very close to just bringing a straight up um, special Inferno with with U-turn, but I just decided to go with fully physical and just see whatever happens. But uh. That Kofagurgi has almost affected a bunch of my prep just on its own. But you know what? It's going to be fun. Uh, Mars and I uh, have gone way, way back at this point. Um, it's going to be a really fun match. Let's see. Let's see. Um, this is honestly decently nerve-wracking. But we will see the... We will see the... Uh, Rotom here, so this is an easy U-turn for me, and I don't have to reveal Scarf quite yet. But, uh, yeah, the, this matchup is super interesting, right? So, I do have a bunch of Mons that can kind of just win on their own, and I have a decent amount of Mons. So, that's what, like 20-ish percent? Yeah, that's exactly 20 percent. Um, it would be super, uh, helpful to know whether or not this is physically or specially defensive right off the bat. So I'm going to attempt to figure that out. That was 20% off of a U-turn. That is for sure specially defensive. That's for sure specially defensive. So I'm going to try to go into my Miltank. So my Miltank here actually has no offensive moves. This is uh, the first kind of Miltank like this that I would have ever considered building. But this Miltank is legitimately just um, Stealth Rock, Toxic, Heal Bell, and Milk Drink. Right, so I'm going to get Rocks up pretty much right now. Uh, he does stay in, so he will let me get a Toxic off next turn, which uh, will be interesting. Unless he volts, yeah, I was, I was literally just about to say unless he volt switches uh, as soon as volt switch comes up on the screen. So that's volt switch as you do get the rocks up, which will be okay for me. Um, I'm not, I don't know, I I guess I'm not the most concerned about the Rotom Wash. Um, it's not leftover, so uh, it could be a bunch of different things. I guess I'm just gonna have to see whatever this thing is going to be, but. Um, rocks are going to help out a decent amount here. Um, well, I can't talk to this thing. I literally cannot touch this thing. Uh, this thing could just try to knock me off, which would be super unfortunate. And I don't have a Z move on my team at all. Um, partially because uh, I was just really bad about getting my Z mons in. So I was, so just out of respect, I was going to not bring a Z move. Uh, his Z mons are Latias and Alolan Raichu, which, which he didn't bring. So my best switch into a knockoff is, uh, really non-existent. It's potentially going to be Primarina here, but I would really like to leave Primarina with its specs intact. Um, the mod that I would least mind getting knocked off would probably just be the Vicavolt here. Um, Vicavolt feels okay to me here. Vicavolt feels okay to me here. Actually, okay, my dedicated switching can actually be 
the Gyarados, and it will get me an Intimidate off. It potentially gives me a free Dragon Dance, although the Amoongus is going to make things really, really difficult for me here. The Amoongus is going to make things really, really difficult for me here. I think... I think the play would be to try to go into Vicavolt here. Yeah, Vicavolt has an overall really solid matchup here. Um... Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. I'm super curious as to how he wants to play this. It doesn't to knock off. Um, like I said, it's the mod that I minded getting knocked off the least. Uh, it does knock off the extra belt, which is reasonably fine. Uh, I do have hidden power ground on this set. But at this point, I think Thunderbolt would do just as much without my... Um, uh, if anything, Hidden Power Ground was probably more for some... Oh, for the Magneton. Yeah, it was primarily for the Magneton. And I did hit a few other things here and there. But um, I can get an Agility up. Agility doesn't even, doesn't even seem that useful here. I'm just going to try to get a Raw Thunderbolt off. I just think I can get a Raw Thunderbolt off. Uh, Drapion's going to be a problem, but it's going to be much less of a problem. The more and more Mons on the other side go down. Does get a Toxic Spike off. And I do not have uh, removal on my side of the field, but... Um, I also have, uh, Miltank th with Heal Bell. Was that a red card? I think that was a red card. Okay, I go into Gyarados anyway. Uh, I, I looked away for like a second to, to look at the matchup on, on the screen, and I think I just got red carded out, which I did not expect even a little bit. That was, Okay. Part of me wants to go back into Vicavol. Is that crazy? I honestly don't even want to Mega Evolve right away. I don't think it's even worth Mega Evolving right away. Is I, I, I definitely don't think it is. I'm just going to go for it. I think it does... At least mildly have to respect um, a strong Earth Week here, so I don't know. I don't know. Goes for a second layer of toxic. Okay, okay. I just kind of expected uh, like Amoongus to be his go-to answer to this thing. Uh, my Gyarados, I mean. So I guess I just kind of go for another Thunderbolt. Um, if he, if the Amoongus does come in, getting Spored would be unfortunate, but. I think at that point, I just go for the Rog Bug Buzz. Goes into Klefki here. Uh, Thunderbolt's gonna do a really decent amount. Could defog, potentially. Could try to, like, super duper stack me with spikes as well here. But, um... Thunderbolt will be a 2 KO. And there's no real reason for me to do anything else. Goes for a Light Dream. That is a super solid play. Super, super solid play there. Um... I could kind of wait out. It's probably likely too, which is super unfortunate. I could try to wait this out. It, the Amoongus, it's going to make the Amoongus even more difficult for me. It's going to make the Amoongus really difficult for me. But here's the thing, right? So, Vicavolt and Gyarados are immune for now. Uh, Miltank has Heal Bell. Uh, Premier doesn't really care about HP. Necrozma is going to be a little bit of an issue, and Infernape mildly cares about HP. It'll definitely care more if he gets up some raw spikes up. Yeah, okay. He is really aggressively stacking me right now. Okay, okay. Mars is really kind of going for it here, but this should take out the Clef Key. Uh, yeah, okay. That's also very, very huge for me. Um, it's going to make it difficult for my Gyarados, although, again, ha having not Mega Evolved... My, helps me a little bit here. Um, the Amoongus is definitely going to have to be weakened for me to really kind of go in here. Um, I have an okay matchup against anything else I would really want to come in here. I think the only thing that would really just straight up KO me would be the Latios. Um, in which case, I would probably try to figure out some way to play around that. But um, But... I don't think I, I think I take at least one hit from anything that uh, from anything else that we would want to come out here. Let's go back into this thing. 
So let's go back into this thing. Hmm. You could just try to be dealing... Um... Continual damage to my Vicavol in here. And Vicavol definitely still has purpose. Like, against the slow world alone, uh, it has a ton, a ton of value. Against the slow world alone. I don't know what that really means for me, though. I probably do just try to get some more damage off here. Hmm. See, the other play that I have is to go into um, Infernape and try to U-turn out, to, partially to try to just stall out this this light screen as well, because uh, Vicavolt is obviously a lot less valuable to me uh, the longer that light screen is up. I think I might do that. I think I might just do that here. Um, I could get Volt Switch, which is totally, totally fair if he goes for the Volt Switch, but um, I don't think... HP on my Infernape is the most important right now, and, uh, honestly, if he goes for Hydro Pump, he's an absolute madman. Okay, goes for a raw Hydro Pump and misses, okay. That was a bit of a madman play, but, uh, I'd expect nothing less from Mars. I'd expect absolutely nothing less from Mars, but this is a pretty easy U-turn and going into, um, Mill Tank for me. Miltank, Miltank is going to be huge for me because it will allow me to uh, heal bell, milk drink, maybe to get a toxic off. He does have two um, poison types in the back, but just for another raw hydro pump and lands this one. Yeah, so it's probably going to be the case that that um, hydro pump miss is going to be super duper unfortunate for him because um, Amoongus is still going to be a huge, huge issue for him. Well, okay, I, I will have the Necrozma, so it might not be the hugest thing on the planet, but... It's... I don't know. It might not be the hugest th thing on the planet, but... Uh, Inferno is definitely big in that it will kind of allow me to... Uh, deal with the... Um, or have us threat in the back for the Amoongus. It'll... it'll let him play less recklessly than he might um, with his regenerator bonds than he might otherwise. So now I'm going to definitely click Heal Bell. And he's actually going to see my entire moveset in just a second. He's going to know that I get completely walled out by the Drapion. Completely walled out by the Amoongus as well. So I'm going to have to play uh, reasonably carefully around that. But let's go for the rest, which is really interesting. Um, this could be Resto Chesto way back, uh, way back to some earlier... Uh, metas here, but if it is Chesto, that's probably best case scenario, because I can just Toxic this thing and not have it heal back. He probably did expect me to want to click Toxic in this situation, and, um, and rest it off, but here, I'm just gonna click Toxic, uh, which will get off before any type of Volt Switch or anything like that. Um, if he does go into Drapion, that'd be super unfortunate. If he does go to Drapion, that'd be super unfortunate, as he does go for the Will-O-Wisp. It doesn't ma Actually, that's probably best case scenario, because now I can't get toxic anymore. And, um... Yeah, yeah, I can't get toxic anymore, and... Um... I've shown my entire moveset. I think I just need to keep healthy with Milk Drink here. Um, but, yeah, it's gonna be a matter of how soon he decides to, uh, make these switches here. But this thing is getting to be super duper low. Um, I honestly think... Okay, how much how much of an issue is Latias for me? Because I honestly think... Light screen does wear off, which is kind of, which is reasonably huge for me. Um... As soon as I clicked Inferno, I was thinking maybe the better play would have been to go into, uh, would have been to go into Gyarados there, but at this point, um, I might get knocked off. Yeah, knocking off the Scarf is, by a mile, 
probably the best thing that I could again that I could have gotten knocked off. And he looks to it looks to be uh, somewhat out of range of a. Okay. Uh, definitely not what I expected from Mars, but uh, we'll go for the Protect on the Drapion. This is really uh, not much of anything I would have expected here, but I will go for another Flare Blitz. Could go into the Slowbro, actually. Could absolutely go into the Slowbro. Slowbro, Slowbro would allow me to U-turn into the Vicavolt, and then Vicavolt would get a huge, huge hit off. Um, again, it's just going to be a matter... If I can get some damage onto the Amoongus, then I think that's really going to be most of what I need in order to um, handle the rest of the team. Also, with the Drapion down, that's that would open up the door a whole heck of a lot for my Primarina to start doing damage. It's really just going to be a matter of um, dealing with a few threats here and there to open the door for things like my Primarina... And uh, my Gyarados is, uh, as well, for sure. Vickable a little bit. And Necrozma's uh, unfortunately going to have to play the role of being in the back to kind of deal with... Um, to kind of deal with uh, the Amoongus. Because if I do give up my Amoongus answer, then I think I might just lose this match here. Uh, just going to this thing, so a little bit more of an aggressive switch than I would have expected, but it is wearing down the Drapion quite a bit here. Uh, this will wear down the Drapion quite a bit, and that does more damage than I would have expected, although, um... I did note from earlier that, uh, this thing was probably more specially defensive, so... I'm curious as to what that allows me to do. Huh. Amoongus is still a huge, huge issue for me. And it stinks. It really does stink right now. But I kind of just honestly want to go into Gyarados here. Gyarados doesn't, doesn't even outspeed without... Well, potentially, without a... Dragon Dance. Although, no, I, I know that this thing is reasonably defensive, so I think I think I have enough for a no-speed Rotom. I could also potentially stall this thing out with Miltank. Although, if I did go into Miltank, I would pretty much have to double out into the Gyarados, only because... um No, I think the play is to go into Gyarados. I want to play this a little bit more aggressively. I don't think... This is really worth um, playing that conservatively. So I think I think I'll definitely take a decent amount of damage here. But this Rotom, yeah, I don't think that. I mean, this Rotom isn't gonna like straight up KO me. Right, um, and if anything, what I really have to worry about is that uh, Amoongus in just a second, but I think at this point, I did outspeed, okay. So I did outspeed a no-speed road, which pretty much does mean that this thing is max special defense, which is super interesting to know. Um... Huh. Okay. Okay, see, despite getting will o -Wisp, right, I think, yeah, I have to click crunch here, right? Yeah. Having this thing go down is huge. It's pretty huge. Um, I'm going to be able to... Heal Bell the way th that away uh, later in the match. Except I'm gonna have to play a little bit more aggressively. Yeah, this thing comes in. Okay, but it can't be put to sleep. So this is a very very different dynamic than I would have expected. 
I could honestly get let this Gyarados go down because this Gyarados is important for walling the Latios. But at the same time, Premier can do the same thing with the Specs Moonblast coming in. So I'm going to click Ice Fang and, and at least just see how much this does. Um, it can get a lot of health back with um, Giga Drain. Hmm. Okay. The obvious place to go back into Mill Tank. Um, hmm. Let's go for the sport. Probably, maybe expect me to go into Necrozma. That, that'd that be a super interesting play if he did just hard read me to go into Necrozma here. But... I can click Heal Bell, and if he does... <clears throat> I was gonna say, if he does click Spore again, then having this thing be... be, um, my Sleep Plasmon is not something that I, that I would have minded at all. So, will... This will, um... Lure the Drapion back in. But this also allow the... Gyarados back in. And again, it's just a matter of a couple of immunities that need to kind of be out of the way in order for me to really uh, do what I need to do in this in this uh, matchup here. I can pretty freely just click Earthquake here. Um... Yeah, having this Street Band go down is what was holding my pre-marina back more than anything. Uh, I'm trying to also think. The Munkus could absolutely come in here. If it does... I mean, if it does, it could be an easy Necroz play for me. Although, yeah, if, the, if, if I do bring in the Necrozma, then I pretty much force a double. But in that case, I think I, I don't think I mind because, um... The easiest double would potentially just be into my Vicka Vault. This is looking like a really interesting matchup. I, yeah... I really am curious as to how I should play this. I think I think I do go into a Krozma and I double. If I do go into a Krozma, then I probably no 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 no. I get as much damage as I can with Ice Fang. Let this thing go down, and then um, and then get a clean switch into something else in a second. There's a Giga Drain. Now. Being that I did that much damage. Given that I did that much damage. Yeah, that's pretty darn defensive and pretty positive. Which should open up the door. For potentially pre-marina. No, not, not pre-marina yet. Vikavolt looks somewhat promising. Oh, the Vikavolt can get spored after taking a hit. Um...
Yeah, I think the truth is that I have to go into Necrozma here. I think the truth is I have to go into Necrozma here. And I honestly might have to make a hard read by clicking, um, by either doubling or clicking Dark Pulse, potentially expecting the, potentially expecting the, Latios to want to come in? I'm going to click Calm Mind here. Clicks Protect. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I still think he has to go into Latios, right? I still think he has to go into Latios. Yeah, I think he has to. I think I click Dark Pulse every day. I think I just have to. Do we see the Latios? I don't know what that is. Um, that's gonna be the slow bro, okay. Honestly, I would have preferred to see the Latios. But that is a straight up Oko, okay. okay. That was very, very much needed. That was very, very much needed. And it and it looks like Necrozma might have enough turns to close this out, unless he does some super aggressive switching around. Which is possible, it's absolutely possible. But yeah, I would have I would have very much preferred to see the to see the Latios come out. So what I think I have to do now. Is I think he's gonna protect, and I think I have to uh, go into this thing right now. Go for just go straight up for a Giga Drain. Okay, that was uh, the least expected play that I. Yeah, I don't know. This is wow. This is okay. I could have straight up clicked Photon Geyser. But I could have straight up like Photon Geyser, man. Uh, that play could have just lost me the match. That play could have just lost me the match. I don't know how to beat this thing anymore. If as long as he can switch between the Latios and the as, as long as he can switch between the Latios, the Latios and the Amoongus. I could have just KO pretty much KO'd this thing with Photon Geyser, all right? Oh, okay, that's huge. As he clicks four. As he clicks Spore. I honestly don't know what's going to happen in this matchup. Figvolt's going to be asleep this turn. He could just try, he could just try to Giga Drain into me, but he's at minus one special defense wise. I don't know. Yeah. I think he's going to want to just try to wear me down with Giga Drain, try to get his ET back. And I just have to wake up early enough that I can potentially Oko with Bug Buzz here. I'm still asleep, which I think is okay. Is, I think it's okay for this next turn. Um.
wake up. Please just wake up. Does withdraw. Uh. Please wake up. I don't know, man. He probably thought that I was going to wake up that turn. So that's going to allow my Necrozma. This thing could be locked in for all I know, man. Honestly, none of this match went the way that I would have expected it to. Does withdraw? I could have clicked Photon Guy. I thought about clicking Photon Guys in case that this thing is locked in. Um, but the good news there is that if this thing is locked in, if this thing is locked into Draco Meteor, then that means that Miltank can beat it in the end game. That means that Miltank can beat it in the end game. And I think he has to protect this turn. But I also don't think I can risk it. I also just don't think that I can risk that. I think I have to click Photon Geyser here. Oh my god, is this finally going to be the end of this match? Oh my god. I almost over predicted again. I almost overpredicted again. I almost clicked Calm Mind, and he could have. I got. I don't know. He could have broken Sleep Claws, Click Spore. He could have Giga Drained me, put me in a worse spot. I don't know, man. There were so many overpredictions, and there were so many. There were so many stressful plays from Mars. I don't know, man. I would have never expected Mars to play this type of um, hazard stacking game, but it's exa it's exactly what he did. Goes for Thunderbolt. Yeah, he's, he's definitely locked in. He knows that, um... He knows that he can't lock into... Draco. Necrozma picks up three KOs. Necrozma reveals you out once again. I have no idea what to say. That was one of the most bananas matches I've played in a while. Just... Mars... I've, I've known Mars for so long. I would have never expected that from him. But, uh... That's kind of what Mars does. He just does... A, the the opposite of what you expect them to do but thank you guys so much for watching that has been week one of the pgbl if week one has been this gosh dang stressful then who knows what's in the in the following few weeks but that's gonna be for me there will be some definite new transactions i will be dropping the gyarados i will be dropping um skun tank and i will be dropping florges and i will be uh, acquiring Mega Scizor, Greninja, and Tauros. The Mbaku T'Challa core was back again. As much as you can call it a core. I know Randy will always say that it is not a core. But they're mods that I love using together. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be once again out.